what if you can learn from an expert without having to travel overseas pack your bags or to go long distances yes that is possible you can learn from the comfort of your home that also the experience of people who have worked in a particular discipline of engineering for maybe 20 years 40 years that is possible it is possible by api rp the rp here stands for recommended practices so basically these are the recommended practices that have been followed or that is recommended in the industry example for refinery certain types of valves were recommended certain type of gasket materials are recommended and all of these cases are mentioned in api recommended practices remember that these are not mandatory practices these are recommended practices you might think that what is the use of these things if this is not mandatory you might think that we should have some standards which are mandatory what is the use of recommended practices i'll share a personal story of mine i was working on pressure instruments and the service was team service what had happened was that i had to work especially on the gaskets the gasket material was fkm viton and this material is not suitable for steam services i tried to convince this to the vendor i said that fkm beton is not suitable for steam service but because it was a world renowned vendor and they had a huge experience they said that this is our standard offering and our instruments have never failed we said to them that api rp does not recommend fkm beton the standard was api rp551 so we said if this is the case we understand that you have a huge experience if you could give it in writing that fkm button would not fail in steam services we would be glad to accept your offer guess what we received a revised quote the next day that also without any additional cost that is when i realized the power of knowing the recommended practices in the industry now we can try to learn the API recommended practices that are especially useful to instrumentation and control engineers. So we'll try to dig deep into it or as to which practices are used and which can be helpful for our engineering projects. So API RP, API recommended practices is first having it's API 551. So API RP 551 is what you can call as kind of the daddy of field instruments. So all the flow, level, pressure, temperature, installation details, all of these things are covered in API RP 551. It's a very deep standard. It has lot of case studies of where to use what. Even the FKM button story, which I told you, is also part or, or mentioned in API 551. The second one, which is API 552, this deals with the transmission. So basically you will have to transmit the signal from field devices up to control system. So the entire transmission type, what is the signals required, all the details, what care must be taken, everything is given in API RP 552. Now, the next one is API RP 553. This is an extremely important standard. This standard is used for refinery control walls. There's also a sta standard which uh, complements this, which is API RP615, which you notice down below. This standard is also helpful for selecting the, selecting the type of valves. And remember the Texas accident that had happened where an incompatible uh, valve was used. It's a very famous incident which is mentioned in CSB. Also, same incident happened again in the Husky plant. So it's very important to read these practices and this same valve incident is mentioned that which valve should we take for uh, it, uh, hydro cracker units and such cases. Now let's look into the next standard which is API RP554. This standard especially deals with the control system part of it and there's another standard which is used accompanying this which is API RP557. This standard deals with the advanced control systems. So these two go in hand in hand with each other. Next we are having is API RP555. 
this is again an extremely important one and deals with one of the most important instruments one of the most asked instruments in your interviews that is analyzers yeah so this aparp 555 deals with all the analyzers which analyzer to use what are their details etc and finally we are having is api 556 that again deals with an important aspect in instrumentation and control engineering which is package instruments so there's a specific role as well which is called as package engineer so basically here we need to look is all the different terms of how a package can interface with the normal utilities and the other areas of the plant uh, there is things like syncing sourcing what all things to be checked everything is covered in aparp 556 i hope you found this video valuable I would love to share a quote that changed my life. This quote was from Robin Sharma. The quote is as follows. Ordinary people love entertainment, but extraordinary people, they enjoy education. This quote literally changed my life. And I have attributed a lot of my success on this quote. So I think this quote could be helpful to you as well. And I would love to share my lessons that I learned from my mentors, from international standards, the mistake that I make with all of you. So every Saturday, I produce a new educational video so that I can share this with you all. If you would want to receive such notifications, then please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So every Saturday, you find a new educational video, which I hope can make a positive difference in your life and in your career. Till then, happy learning.